that's not a very nurturing attitude. Like if, if you just want me to figure it out, just say, hey, part of your growth is figuring it out for yourself. And if you're still really, really stuck, I can stuck, I can give you some pointers, you know. But but to say I'm disappointed in you, I don't like this guy. And I'm gonna leave. A very quick intro. We're gonna play Black Book. Um, this is from a Russian game developer, a very small indie studio. Three or four people made this game. And um, the genre of game, this is called an adventure RPG with a card battle system. Um, so how is that different than other game systems? Well, uh, an RPG, basically, you are just trying to uh, improve your skills and your equipment and your weapons and blah, 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 through, through combat and, and there's very little story. So an action RPG is just the emphasis is on, is on fights. Uh, but an adventure RPG, the emphasis is more heavily on story. And with the card battle system, I'm hoping that there'll be a little bit of a, an emphasis on the reading comprehension in if you are able to follow the cards and the story, be able to make certain choices. Um, and if your reading comprehension and your listening comprehension is too low, then that will affect your choices. Um, so let's go ahead and get back into the game. Okay. From the warm summer, departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. The cold one of earth. There isn't even a churchyard fence to hold on to. No. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. It'll all be well. All will be well. I accept this homage from Grandpa. Though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. So, as we've seen in the beginning of the story, a um, <clears throat> young girl is married off, um, which was a, a custom of the time. Um, but her new betrothed uh, dies. And, and sc scandalous, scandalous uh, why, he, why he died. Um, and so this young girl, his bride, decides uh, that she's going to accept an offer from, uh, from this old person in the village uh, to become a witch. Uh, and she'll, she'll do what this old guy wants her to do, which is become a witch, in exchange for knowledge on how to bring back her, her betrothed. I'll drag you from that road myself. Right. Mm, maybe not a good idea. Oh. They didn't bury him in the holy ground. What's this? A thicket? Am I gonna go in a thicket? I need to go to the crossroads. The pine needles are golden with the sun already. I don't know what that means, but I guess I'm gonna go to the crossroads. The artwork on this is is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, crossroads. Can I look around? No. Yeah. So my movement is limited to what I see on the screen. And then there's a, some kind of a harp or something is my cursor. So I can only follow the props. Uh, I'm curious to know what the, uh, the card battle system looks like. Hope we can get to it.
Initiation of a cold doom. Oof. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. So I need to look around. The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. Ah, okay. Ah, so I can, I have a limited movement, but it does give me more choices, more options. Mile post, what's this? Cherbing, 16 miles, Selikansk, 102 miles, Mirov, 21 miles. So it's interesting they're using miles and not kilometers. Uh, so the English language, the English translation obviously is American English. So what's this? Mile post, what's this? Ritual candles. Old and enchanted candles from old Igor, Igor's hut. Draw a circle to offer protection against the evil spirits. Applies three rounds on the first turn. Okay, gotcha. Is there anything more? No, there's not. Okay, let's go to let's talk to old Igor. So, have you found the candles? Yes. Well done. All by yourself at that. Seems my teachings were not lost on you after all. So, my image is this this young girl who has who was married and lost her her husband. Um is like 15 <laughs> and then this old guy the old man old igor is probably like 39 <laughs> you know oh well now let's draw a circle be careful not to leave any gaps otherwise we'll be crushed by evil spirits all right make a circle Wow. Is it all right, grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. All right. I can help him. Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Powerful well, book. On. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, Grandpa. Okay, uh, before we bring back my uh, my dead husband, uh, I want to take your knowledge. So first of all, uh, my first knowledge is um, the Oakland A's uh, won the World Series in 1976. Who won the World Series in 1977. What's the answer to that? I need to know that. Uh, other question is, did you know that the distance from the sun and the size of the moon is by an order of magnitude of 400? So the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 400 times difference, but the size of the Moon in relation to the Sun is 400 times difference. So that is why when the Moon covers the Sun in a solar eclipse, it's a total lunar eclipse. And uh, it's, that's really, really rare. Um, no other moon, there's no moons in our, on our solar system that have that ratio. 
So if there is a, a lunar eclipse on Mars, it's not a total eclipse. It's mostly it's partial. Um, but yeah, we can do a total lunar eclipse just because of an accident of physics. So what was my question for you, uh, Grandpa? I forget. But it's something about uh, uh, bringing back it's my dead boyfriend. Time we've spent together, parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Take what? Ah, the black book. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? Wow. The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Yeah, you're very powerful, but ah, let's not worry about it. That's so weird. Now speak the words I taught you. Uh, Batu Barata Niktu. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. Come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither in convertible ruble nor a fine hat. But bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. Yeah, I said so, so it's gotta be. That's how it works. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your life. To uh. become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. All right. Time for your first Zagabar. Zagabar. <laughs> okay. Welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. Got it. Uh, but you always go first. You win when you destroy all enemies before you reducing their health to zero. This is the black book contains all your Zagabars. Try using the page Razi. Press the enter button to recite your Zagabar. Okay. So I'm going to choose this, and then I'm going to end my turn. Ah. The passage you had previously turned up changed. The book alters the pages each turn. But can I, can I get more warning from my enemies? Can I get more warning from my enemies? So I can prepare, I guess. Uh, defense. Okay, cool. Does this work? One and a miss. Enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Gotcha. Throw up a complete Zagavar. A complete Zagavar? What does that mean? You may combine several pages into Zagavar, so I want this one, this one. And this one. You can currently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the MP slots in the book. A Zagabar consists of orders and keys. Uh, you can currently recite a Zagabar consisting of two orders and one key. In its upper corner. Ah. Enemy turn. Good job, Vasya. This demon is nearly beaten. Cool. A couple more spells to read the world of it. 
Ah, the black book helps you predict your enemy's actions. So he's going to hit me first. So I'm going to go... Kuda. Got it. Nice. Take that, you mangy hellhound. Mangy? Is that mangy? Maybe I've been pronouncing the word wrong. Mangy or mangy? The gates of hell, and we're gonna go into the gates of hell. That's pretty scary. I don't know. All right, let's do a little bit more, and then I'm gonna end the stream. So we're still in the prologue. Um, yeah, it's not letting me, it's not, it's not very open. It's, it's sometimes it's open. Sometimes it's not. All right, we'll do this one more, this this one, and we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, the artwork is. Is that you, Vasilisa? Yeah. I should congratulate you. For the cursed seal is open. Only six remain. Oh, but will you be able to open? Why, who are you? Who are you? How rude, Why is it rude to ask somebody? I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. Oh. We will become better acquainted in time. I'm curious, can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed, as legend dictates. So there's a reference to a legend. Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Yeah. He's worthy to open the scroll and break its seals. I don't know, some scary dude wants me to break the seals. All right, how do I do that? Can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. That's not a very nurturing attitude. Like, if, if you just want me to figure it out, just say, hey, part of your growth is figuring it out for yourself. And if you're still really, really stuck, I can stuck. I can give you some pointers, you know. But, but to say I'm disappointed in you, I don't like this guy. And I'm gonna leave. Return to the land of the living. No chest yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I named you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? <laughs> What does that mean? What? I will only need one at most. All right, one. We do not assign fewer than three imps, Vasilisa. 
Ah, who decides that? I'll pick out the best among your Gorson imps for you. All right. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seals. All right, yeah, I'm going to go back home. Sp scary. Spooky. All right, I think I'm getting a, getting an idea for this game. This is fun. This is fun. This is uh, I'm sure I I am sure that this game will get a lot more complicated. The card battles will get a lot a lot more complicated. Um, but I love it. This is this is great. The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. Had to drag you I home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. Yeah. The devil made me a witch. The devil made me a witch. Is that really true? Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. Well, I mean, it's a good day. It's a good day that the devil gives you power. Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. Ah. Open it. Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part. But what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books. You yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Suset case who told the heads of the families. I'm there's a lot of information here. There's, I'm getting a lot now here. People will come to you for advice. I am old now, not many teeth left. My Kuldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Ah, so I wonder if devil and demon have different I different images and different meanings uh than what be here on tv so or something like that whatever anyway um i think this is a good place to stop now even if it means i need to restart a level or something like that i, I guess i will but but i'm gonna stop here um yeah There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was it. Guys, thank you very much for stopping by. We talked about Sojourner Truth. We talked about Anne and Anna Jarvis, who started Mother's Day. Yeah. And then we played a little bit of a game called Black Book, which is about witchcraft and card battles. And it's an RPG. But really... It is fun English practice while learning uh, foreign cultures, uh, mostly folklore, mythology, and folk tales, and that kind of thing, uh, from Russia and the Slavic states, so Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe and Western Russia, that part of the of the country. Um, but with that, uh, I have to go.